It's not always easy to host a talk show. With new visitors arriving every night from all walks of life, there are certain to be some interviews that just don't go as planned. Whether it's a personality mismatch or a visitor who just doesn't want to be there, there have undoubtedly been some awkward exchanges, and the talk show hosts weren't holding back on the facts. From daytime hosts like Wendy Williams to late night hosts like Jimmy Fallon, these talk show hosts have all revealed who their worst guest was. Several prominent celebrities were named and one was even mentioned twice. Keep watching to find out who the worst talk show guests were. At number 10, Megan McLean claims that her worst guest on The View was Fox News star Jeannie Pyro. She yelled profanities, questioned Whoopi Goldberg's contribution to black women, and even threw her microphone, hitting Megan during the interview. At number 9, Andy Cohen, the presenter of Watch What Happens Live, revealed that Amber Rose was the worst guest he'd ever had because she refused to answer questions that she thought may make her seem terrible. She refused to answer any of my dubious inquiries. She came to me and asked, am I a terrible guest? I replied, you're in the running for one of the worst guests we've ever had, Andy told E! News. At number 8, during the game of Spill Your Guts or Fill Your Guts, James Corden said that his worst guest was Rick Ross, who refused to participate in aspects of the show that he had previously agreed to. We forwarded it to Rick's people and Rick saw it, loved it, and was ecstatic to do it. Rick Ross came in and sat with us and we did the full binge watching Netflix with rapping thing. Cool, I'm just going to the restroom, Rick says. We just stood there for around 20 minutes after he hadn't returned. His management guy then returned and said, yeah, Rick's not going to do that, James explained. At number 7, although Chelsea Handler welcomed Russell Brand numerous times on her show, Chelsea Lately, she confesses that he was one of her least pleasant guests, due to in part of his demands before the interview could even begin. Russell Brand was the only one who was just a pain in my butt. He never wanted to see him again. He halted all of our production plans because he wanted three espressos before coming on for his interview, Chelsea told Grazer Magazine. At number 6, Jay Leno, the host of The Tonight Show, was asked if any of his guests absolutely bored him, and he named names. Jay claimed that he was so uninterested in the Bachelorette actress, Trista Sutter, that he didn't recognize her when she requested a photo in the parking lot after the show had concluded. I was watching one of these reality stars, Trisha, I'm speaking, to her in this manner, and I'm gazing at the back of her head. I'm completely uninterested. I've never watched this dreck of a reality show, and I have no idea what that was, Jay admitted on The Late Late Show. At number 5, while presenting The Daily Show, Jon Stewart revealed that his least favorite guest was Hugh Grant, despite the fact that he had interviewed genuine tyrants on the show. Hugh, according to Jon, was a nasty individual who grumbled about the footage pic to promote his film. He's giving everyone crap the whole time and he's a real pain in our butt, Jon explained, adding that he would never bring Hugh back. Hugh later apologized on Twitter, stating, Turns out my inner crab got the best of me with TV producer in 2009. Unforgivable Jay Stewart is correct in kicking me. At number 4, according to host Graham Norton, one of the worst visitors was Robert De Niro, but not because he was disagreeable or harsh. Graham added that regrettably Robert isn't a particularly excellent storyteller and that some of his interviews had to be edited. He's not a storyteller or a talker, he's a pleasant presence. He went on and on and the last time he started narrating a story. We were all leaning in, hoping for the best, then he asked, why am I telling you this? Nobody had a response. Graham remarked at the Chettleman Library Festival, we cut it. At number 3, for the same reason as Graham Norton, Jimmy Fallon named Robert De Niro one of the worst deaths. Despite the fact that Jimmy personally invited Robert to be the first guest on his new talk show and he eagerly consented, Jimmy claims he struggled to get more than one word responses from Robert. Despite the bad interview, Jimmy maintains that he is still a tremendous fan. My very first interview was with Robert De Niro. He doesn't even communicate much in real life. He appeared and he was just Robert De Niro. One word responses? Yup, nope, responded Jimmy on a Watch What Happens Live. At number 2, Lorraine Kelly, who spent over 35 years as a talk show host, said that her least favorite guest on Lorraine was Kevin Spacey. Although she didn't give too many details about their encounter, it was clear that he wasn't a great guest. He was horrible, just very arrogant, and I didn't like him at all. And last but not least, at number 1, prior to his death, Larry King stated that his worst visitor was Phyllis Gates and the late rock Houston's life.
Larry had promised viewers a meaty interview with insights about Rock's life, but when he stated questioning Phyllis, she simply responded with one-word answers. I look up at the time, I've been playing for four minutes. I've got another 56 minutes with this woman who doesn't have anything to say. Did you know him, I almost said? Larry mentioned it on Sway in the Morning. Well guys, thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to 10 Focus, and ring that notification bell so that you never miss a video. Thanks for watching.